Documentaries can oftentimes be more compelling than a fictional film. In recent years, there have been a flood of documentaries, with quite a lot of them being outstanding. The following movies are the ones that stuck with me the longest. The ones I thought about for days, months, even years later. For this list, I've decided not to include any music-related films, as I will save that for another time. So here's Film Maniac's top seven favorite documentaries. Number seven, The King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters. Meet Billy Mitchell. Billy has a knack for being a total ass. Billy also happens to be really good at video games, particularly Donkey Kong. Many years ago, Billy Mitchell set a world record in Donkey Kong, and no one has ever even come close. Enter Steve Wiebe, an average family man who one day decides to break the record, which he does. But Billy's homies call it fraudulent. The entire movie chronicles this ongoing battle for the highest Donkey Kong score, and it's also quite hilarious. Number six, Bus 174. Back in the year 2000 in Rio de Janeiro, a bus full of people was hijacked by a bandit named Sandro. The movie not only follows the events as they unfold, but also focuses on Sandro. And as the viewer, you eventually come to understand why this man is the way he is with really not much fault. If my mom was murdered in front of me at a young age, and I was forced to live on the streets with absolutely no one caring about me, would I resort to crime to survive? The movie is more tense than any thriller, especially since I was unfamiliar with the story. Number five, Visions of Light, the art of cinematography. Visions of Light is an absorbing film that discusses the art of cinematography. Many of the greatest living cinematographers talk about their craft, as well as the history of lighting in film, and the artists and films that inspire them. At its core, film is a visual medium. If you love movies, then there's no reason why you would not love this one as well. Number four, American Movie. Looking at the cover of this movie can make you think you're about to watch a Wayne's World ripoff, but do not be deceived. American Movie is a very funny film about Mark Borchardt, a man who is obsessed with making movies. The film follows Mark as he tries to complete his latest horror film, Coven. I really related to Mark's dream as I have been through many similar movie making situations in my youth. His uncle is hilarious and so is his best friend, Mike. Watch this. A very entertaining movie not to be missed. Number three, Capturing the Freedmans. This film follows the Freedmans, a seemingly normal family that is torn apart by an insane child molestation case. The father and son are accused by other children of unspeakable crimes as the dad taught a class at his house after school. The son denies doing it, but then pleads guilty in order to help out with the father's sentence. What's really creepy is the family recorded a lot of footage, including the trial and the aftermath. What's great about the movie is that you never really know what happened. The dad definitely had issues, but you're not quite sure if what had been accused actually happened. And it's creepy that one of the other sons is now a birthday clown. Just a little bit. Number two, Man on Wire. This movie is breathtaking. In 1974, tightrope walker extraordinaire Philippe Petit set out on an obsession to walk on a wire that was rigged between the World Trade Center's twin towers. Yeah, the man is nuts, but he's also friggin' awesome. The film chronicles how he got a crew together in order to illegally bring all his equipment all the way to the top, all the while not being caught. This film moved me in such a jaw-dropping beautiful way, which seems odd since it is just a man walking on a straight line. Oh, spoiler alert, he does do it, by the way. And he was on that wire for nearly an hour. Crazy. Number one, the Up series. In 1964, director Michael Apt had interviewed a bunch of seven-year-olds and has been back every seven years to do it again. There are seven films so far, and the experience of watching these is something I'll never forget. You see how these people change throughout the years, and also how they stay the same. 
Film critic Roger Ebert said about the films, an inspired, almost noble use of the film medium. Aptad penetrates to the central mystery of life. I honestly have to say this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I'll say it again. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I look forward to the next chapter in a couple of years, and I highly recommend the Up series to everybody.